Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This is going to be my top build for Zombie Becky, uh, Becky Two Bites, um, since it's October. Uh, do, do have the moment, and it does add 150% more trap gem damage. However, there probably won't be a lot of trap gems on the board, but it is certainly worth uh, knowing. Uh, the moment, though, is also attainable. Uh, it's one of the cheaper good things on the prize wall this month. It's like 3.3k points. So I think a ton of people are going to be able to get this zombie moment if they want it. It is a very strong moment. It's a very good moment. Um, I think it's probably the best value on the midweek month-long prize wall. Uh, just for whatever that's worth. Anyway, um, strap. It's 100%er. 40 per, you know, Fury 2's maxed out, and then double with the sub damage stuff. We got Rhonda's jacket. Whenever you generate three or more sub gems, increase your black gem damage by 100%. That's what we care about. Acolyte plate, sub gems, get 50% more. So that's more damage. More damage is good, right? Uh, Going to run the standard triple black for Becky. Um, my favorite personal build, although it doesn't hit as hard, uh, with this would be changing the sub out for the trap damage move. Um, and then if you added a drip plate to that move set uh, and no sub, it won't hit as hard, but you also won't have to do a sub. Um, but I hate doing drip plate builds, and it doesn't hit as hard as this, so I'm going to go with this as my top build. Um, triple black, 6 MP, double barrel drop kick. Deal 122k damage and make 25 random gems into trap gems. Broken by your opponent, deal 170k damage. Increase your black gem damage by 30% for two turns. That's really what we're focusing on. If you break it, you steal 170k health. Uh, this is kind of what drives the build, is the trap gems. Disarm her, submission, place seven sub gems, 189k, four turns. Remaining turn into multiply gems of strength eight. Uh, the moment is going to make them 13, though. Uh, and that's really where the 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 moment is going to come into play. Um, they're going to be really big, so if we break any of those multiplies, that's going to add a lot of potential damage. So the trap gems not as important. The multiply gems, if they stay, very important. And then belly to back suplex, 568k, make 26 random gems into black gems. The entourage setup, I'm going a little bit different here. I want to get as many black gems as possible, make those connections, catch those multiply gems. So I am running with Titus and Zombie HBK. That's seven additional. Now, if we got one of the generate gem people for black gems that generated three, I'd drop Titus so I wouldn't have to use Santa, and I'd probably put um, Tiffany in here, right here. Uh, but we don't have any extra three black gem. We do have two. But I just really like decreasing the, my chances of the board screwing me, so I'd rather have those uh, two extra gems right now. If it was just one, uh, the fact that I wouldn't have to use Santa would outweigh that. So anyway, let's take a look. And do keep in mind, Moment is going to add significant damage on the Multiply Gems, but there's not always a lot of them left. We can kind of take a look at that as we go here. Um, but again, the Moment is extremely cheap this month comparatively and i think really good value so when you're placing the sub gems you do want to place them in places you don't think will get broken corners are good without matches near them for example um there doesn't seem to be a match super close to this greens look like a hot mess in this area so we'll stay away from those loot box gems tend to not get matched so that sounds good uh i don't love this spot but whatever and don't cover your trap gems this does look good, however, for her breaking a lot of trap gems, which is what we want to see. So there's some definite luck involved in it. We have 10, so we have a 300% black gem boost. We only kept two of the multiply gems, though. A regular black gem, as that say, is... Is that 5 million? I believe that's 5 million. No, 578k. Jeez, I need commas, I'm blind. This is 7.5 million on the multiply. Um, so depending how many of these we get depends how much difference the moment makes. If we get two, it's an extra 15 million damage. We did get both. And we hit for 57 million. Without any multiply gems, we still would have been 40 million. And this is at silver. So that would have been like 104 million at gold. 
and uh, 80 million even if we had zero multiply gems, if I'm tallying that right. Seems really high, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's run it again. Bada be da. Uh, of course, you could also drip plate this build, but I mean, I don't really see the uh, the point. It already hits hard enough. But um, as you guys know, I don't love sub builds because things can go wrong. No different with this. Um, I have missed completely with this in feud before, um, more than once, which is when I quit using Becky. Because uh, that kind of stuff frustrates me. Um, we got 14 broke here. No, that is. Yeah, 751k. And then these are now 9.7 9 9 million. And we have potentially 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We kept almost all of them. There's potentially 60 million if we break all these multiplies. This is also why you want to generate a lot of black gems. We have potential 60 million in just multiplies sitting there. And we missed two of them. That was 70 million. That would be 140 million at gold. And this is without her gear. I Honestly, though, I think her gear is kind of overpriced. You don't really need the MP for anything. Except for Steel Cage rules matches. Then her gear would be lights out. Um, for sure. For Steel Cage match rules. So, um, let me run this one more time. It, it, it still hits super hard, right? Like, and if there's ever a, a lady boss with black gems, dear goodness, um, Becky will destroy it. Like, I greatly prefer Naomi and... and or, this is Acrobat. I greatly uh, prefer, like, a bunch of acros over her, but that's a gameplay style thing. I could see why this would be some people's favorite Acrobat, right? She hits super hard, um, isn't particularly hard to set that up and stuff, so, you know, if you don't mind the sub-loop gameplay and you like to hit hard, this is probably the build for you. Just know that every once in a while things will go wrong. Um, 8 million on those this time, 621. We got... 58 million there i mean it's 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 gonna be a steady 100 million at gold with the moment like realistically um it's quite good uh and becky's really good i do have the gear equipped by the way uh this is the cc account um but i just don't i mean so like theoretically what would you guys do the gear adds 5 mp so uh one for your turn uh, it adds 6 mp Holy smokes. Anyway, everything is completely loaded. What would you guys do with the gear? I'll run one with the gear. Would you would you focus on the multiply gems and then like drop and put Sherry here? We for sure gonna drop Santa, right? I don't, I don't even know what I would do. And then let's ch I would probably chuck some more black gems so I could get all um take advantage of all of the um Steamboat would be another option for two extra traps. I honestly I would I would do this, I think. To try and get every single multiply gem. I think I would do this. Uh, is probably what I would do. Let's just, just for fun. Uh, let's see if we get a good one. The zombie gear always kind of cracks me up. It's a lot. Potentially a lot of traps broken. I like that. This bottom looks pretty decent. Let's stick down there with the sub gems. Come on. Yeah, break some traps. There you go. Break some more. Ooh. Oh, we lost a few. We still have four, though. We still have four. 626, and none of them are on a black gem to tell how large they are. 
Let's see if we get all four. We did. <laughs> 76 million. Ah, that'd be like 160, 150, 152 million at gold. Okay, I lied one more. Every once in a while, I like hitting hard too, guys. Don't judge me. But that was 75 million at, uh, at, at silver. 76 million at silver. That's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Also, the the gear would be great for showdown too. Showdown and steel cage rules, boss, um, those kind of things. Feud, I don't think it makes a big enough difference to matter. It's still the sub gameplay stuff, but the other modes, I definitely think it matters. And then like, you know, if you just want to hit for a stupid amount, which even for me sometimes is entertaining. Don't judge me. Yes, I did say that. Don't judge me. Occasionally, Merrick's likes to have fun, too. He's not always completely boring. Ooh, break my trap gems. I want a big hit. That's only six. Boo. Boo this lady. Boo. Eh, 51 million. Shame. I mean, we'll call it good. The 75 million at silver, 76 million at silver, good enough. Uh, anyway, that's top build for Becky. She's pretty good with her gear. She's pretty good without her gear. Uh, she's pretty good as long as you like doing a sub, um, which I don't. But uh, she can be very fun and is ridiculously strong. So let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and take care. That's some spicy damage, I have to admit. Definitely spicy damage.